How is the municipality doing financially? Well, the economy is strong, which is very good for a municipality. Our budget is $873 million on the operating side. That's about $4,500 for every home. And our finances and your money is well taken care of. Our debt is steadily declining every single year for a number of years now. We're doing a better job every year taking care of things such as roads, streets, buildings. And every year we add or we try to add one or two new services. So, for example, you know, the new four pad or the skating oval. How does the municipality determine the taxes on homes and businesses? The value of the homes is set by an arm's length agency and they provide those values to us every year. For us, our job is to set the tax rates that apply to all the different properties out there. So we have general tax rates, we have area rates, we have transit rates. For water and sewer, those, those amounts are set by the Halifax Water Commission and we don't charge for water and sewer on the property tax bill. When you're looking at a single family home, the average tax bill is about $2,700 a year. But of course that's an average, so those bills for 80% of single family homeowners, those bills range from one to 4,000. And they benchmark or compare relatively well to other cities across the country. When you're looking at commercial tax bills, the average commercial tax bill is about $48,000. But of course, that's quite a range of different types of businesses. It covers everything from the corner store and the gas station to the big mall and the warehouse. And those ones too, uh, those ones too don't compare too badly across the country. They're, they're fairly comparable. How do your tax dollars support municipal services? Well, there's only one taxpayer supporting all three levels of government in Nova Scotia. So when you look at our tax bill on a typical residential family home, probably about 30% of that bill goes to pay for school boards and other provincial type costs. And that leaves us a little smaller, a smaller amount to actually deal with to provide all the important services, the day-to-day -day services that people like and need. So police, fire, streets, roads, libraries, those sorts of things. These are all important, we're responsible for them, and you know, they are expensive to provide on an individual basis. Compare budgeting for your home with how it works for the municipality. We're a fairly large organization. We have a lot of details and complexity, but at the end of the day, the decisions we have to make are very similar to those that a homeowner would make. We face cost pressures and inflation for things like streets and roads, oh, heating fuel for buildings, gasoline for, for police cars, for transit buses. Those things, uh, those things affect us, they affect you. Now, most homeowners wouldn't be too excited about paying money to, to fix the roof or, or paint the house. They'd rather spend the money on a family vacation, a big screen TV, and that's the same to us. We have to make the decision, shall we, shall we maintain our facilities and, and, and upgrade them, or shall we spend money on something new? Or, or should we try to give money back and, and keep taxes as low as we can? We're always looking for, for ways to make things more efficient, to make things better for people, better services, lower taxes, more efficiencies. And so I think at the end of the day, those are the things that we need to, we need help making decisions on those things from the citizens who pay the taxes. What would they rather see? And that's what the budget consultations are all about. Now you know a little more about your municipal tax dollars. Tell us what you think. Visit our citizen engagement website and tell us your spending priorities. Shapeyourcityhalifax.ca